Yesterday's inflation numbers were better than expected and the markets took off and the NASDAQ was up 4.42% early, but gave most of those gains back by the time the markets closed. And today at 2 p.m., Jerome Powell is expected to announce a 50 basis point rate hike that will surprise nobody. The markets might rally because this is seen as a sign that inflation is coming down, but I'm still skeptical for the overall markets. Why? Because the bottom line is interest rates are going up and higher interest rates are bad for businesses, the economy, and the stock market. If you can find a way to sell me on the idea that increased interest rates are good for the stock market, then sound off in the comments down below. And while there may be a lot of reasons to be bearish, I am seeing more and more companies that are trending up. This is my JR1 list and all of these stocks are up at least 9% in the last three months. And this is just one of our hot stock lists. And we use this as a starting point to find stocks. If you look at my arrows on the chart, you can see we have a lot of stocks that are doing well in the current market. And I'm a believer that the trend is our friend. And in the current market, I'm focusing on profitable companies because there is still a good chance that we have a recession in 2023. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with Google and how I'm using options to get much better returns with Google than a normal stock investor. But first, here are a few of our winning trades from yesterday. I know a lot of investors are struggling to make money in this market and we're successful in my discord because we know how to make money regardless of whether stocks are going up, down, or sideways. If you want all of our trading alerts and help from our awesome community, then join us in discord. We're crushing it with all levels of investors and we do everything including long-term investing, options, and day trades. And with the volatility, we've been doing a lot of short-term swing and day trades where we get in, get out, and get paid quickly. And don't think it's just me posting awesome trade alerts because our group shares freely for the benefit of everyone. Anyway, if you want all of our trade alerts and help from our awesome community, then join us in Discord. One of the best ways to get rich with stocks is to sell options and it doesn't have to be complicated or risky. What I like to do is find a stock that I want to own and then I'll sell a put on the stock. If the stock goes up, I keep the put premium for essentially doing nothing. If the stock goes down, then I end up buying the stock at a discounted price because of the put premium I received. Eventually, I will be put the stock, which just means I have to buy 100 shares of the stock for every contract that I sold. And once I own the stock, then I start selling covered calls and this allows me to make option premiums and eventually I will sell the stock for a profit. Pretty simple, right? What I just described is called the wheel strategy and this is a great strategy anytime, but especially in our current market. Let's review the three wheel steps and then I'll show you a wheel that I'm running right now. Step number one, we want to sell puts that we hope will expire worthless. Step number two, we're going to sell calls for premiums. And step number three, the stock gets called away. I only want to run the wheel on stocks that I want to own. So the first thing I do is to take a look at the fundamentals. Google has great financials and is very profitable with a 29.5% net income margin. Next, I take a look at the chart and here we can see Google has had a rough year and is trending in the wrong direction. Google is down 34% in the last year and this normally isn't the type of a stock or a chart that I go for. But I believe Google is on sale right now so I see this as buying a value stock at a discounted price and I'm okay with buying this for the long term. Now let's jump over to my option analyzer and I'll show you how I'm using the wheel strategy on Google because the returns are impressive. We're now in my option analyzer at beastmodeanalysis.com and this is a free tool that you can use. So back on December 1st, I sold two contracts of Google and I sold the $95 put. And the reason I selected $95 was because there was really good support on Google at that price. And I picked up 34 cents per share, which was $68 received that was paid to me. And this gave me an annual ROI of 16.3%. And this 16.3% percent is red because I normally shoot for an annual ROI of 30 percent or more but in this case I based it on where support was for Google. Fast forward and this contract was for the ninth. Google dropped down below $95 and then on Friday the 9th I was put the stock which means that I bought the stock for $95. So if we come over here we're just going to go ahead and put that in. So we're going to go Google. We were buy or put the stock on the 9th. 200 shares, which is two contracts, and the price that I ended up paying was $95 per share. 
So if we come over here on the right hand side, we can see that my new cost basis is $94.66 and that's because we've got the $95 that we paid for it less our 34 cents per share. Next we have to look at selling a covered call since we bought the stock. All right, our next step is to covered call. And if we go to the option analyzer, this is actually going to be wheel step number three. And we can see it says sell covered call. And we want to look for about a 0.3 delta that is out of the money. So if we come down here to our option chain, we can see we could go for the 16 December, but that's only a few days away. We actually want December 23rd, and that is currently 10 days out, actually nine days because I'm in Thailand with the way things are figured. So we're going to drop that down and then we're going to scroll down and we want to look for the 0.3 delta and here we have it right here and this is the $99 strike price and we are looking at the covered call side and we can see right now it's going for 89 cents so if we come up we can see the Google uh, we've got our sell step three we're gonna sell a covered call our date sold is gonna be today December 14th this is nine days out and that's gonna give us a expiration date of December 23rd and we can see the December 23rd is right here as well so now we need to put in our covered call strike price again that's going to be $99 so we put in 99 right here and now how much are we going to be getting for it we can come over here and we can see the sell on it is going to be 89 cents so let's go ahead and put 0.89 and we can see that that's going to generate $178 for us and the last thing we need to do is put in our cost basis, which if we remember was $94.66. And now we can see that's going to give us an annualized ROI on just our covered call of 38.1%. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our option overall picture. Here we can see our total debits are $19,000. And if we come down to debits, what did we buy? That's because we bought 200 shares at $95. Total paid was $19,000, so that matches up. Our total credits from options, it totals everything up for us. And we can see we're at $246. Our total weekly income right now is $138.44. Our annualized ROI is 37.9%. And this estimates our monthly income to be $599, estimated annual income $7,198. And then we can come down and we can analyze our stock symbol for any stock that we have a debit on. Right now our only one is Google and it's also telling us that if we sell more covered calls, our cost basis is currently $93.77. Our weekly income on Google works out to $138.44. And then if we come down a little bit further, here is our Google Wheel Trade Summary. It tells us when we bought Google. Our close date is December 23rd. That's right here on our covered call. And then our total wheel profits, if closed, would be $1,046. Our total ROI on Google would be 5.51% and annualized over 14 days that would work out to 143.53%. And then if we keep going, this breaks down our entire wheel trade. It tells us the days that we held Google would be 14 days. Our total debits, 19,000. Total credits, $246. And that's from selling our different options. Our credit from puts were $68. Credit from covered calls, $178. Our adjusted cost basis would be $18,754. Cash needed for puts, there is zero because we don't have any put positions open right now. And our total stock profits, if covered, that means if we sold Google at the $99 per share, we would end up making $800 all told total profits, $1,046 annualized ROI of 143.53%. And this is the power of options in the wheel strategy. Let me know if you have any stocks that I should consider buying for the wheel strategy. And if you enjoyed today's video or got anything out of it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you were new here. And if you want all of our trading alerts, then join us in Discord.